Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Gardener here, back with another modded automation tutorial. Today we're going to be tackling bruschetta or bruschetta. I think it's called bruschetta. <laughs> Don't ask me how to spell it. But anyway, this is the setup for it. It's a bit clunky. This could be optimized a little bit better, but basically everything that's here is needed. You may say it was jiggle bin for, yeah, we need that. We need this and this and this. Why is this down here? Because you got to do this first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the machine up. And we'll talk because it takes a while for bread to make. This is our typical bread maker. Goes through the combiner, follow the mouse, goes through the safety hub to cook. We'll go on to this grabber to eat portion. Remember, you never want to portion off of a safety hub because the last one will turn into toast. And you don't want toast because you have to filter this around. You have to add oil to the uncooked bread and then cook it, which would become like a... The, the crust and then you filter this down and you don't have to do this like this corner setup but tomatoes have to be added before the onions get added and obviously you have automatic tomatoes you have to have a jiggle bin with a small grabber pulling off just the chopped tomato and then it'll continue to make sauce and then but eventually it will keep up with itself and again how much garlic bread are you going through um or it's not garlic bread bruschetta excuse me the bruschetta is a starter um, but the way this works is because you have a, a safety hob here, or excuse me, a smart grabber, this will sit here until the tomato is chopped. So if for some reason you're pulling off that much bruschetta, like you're pulling off such a crazy amount here, like we're going crazy here. So right now we're basically we're back to waiting. So it's going to wait here. But again, as soon as this, this is cleared, this smart grabber here is cleared it'll start filtering through you'll have one and two and you'll be able to put third one onto that if you are really worried just put a prep station in between these or add another couple conveyor belts it's real simple to add on to that and there is a still a bit of a visual issue with the boards turning into this board when the the uh, bruschetta is added it turns into this loaf like it's like oblong circle type sh oval shape and the boards get a bit distorted um, when you put the bread on it, I'll demonstrate like this. It distorts it a bit, but it's just, again, this is just a modded visual. Uh, it doesn't affect anything. It's just the visual. When, as soon as you serve the, you serve this and you bring the board back, it'll look like your old board here. And that's basically it. Now you may say, do you need to have a smart grabber here? Yes, you do. If you don't have a smart grabber here, you have to have one of these combiners somewhere else. Because I've said this many, many times before, guys. You cannot combine two things onto one square at the same time without having something, quote, stopping it. So a smart grabber set to a finished bruschetta, bruschetta will stop this from happening. Because if not, what happens is it'll add one or the other and it'll filter right on through with the other grabber. So again, you could have this sitting here if you really want to do something like that. If you don't want to have a smart grabber, you could have the onions sitting on here and this would work perfectly fine as well. But for me, my money is it's just as easy to get a small grabber than it is to get a corner grabber because these cycle back and forth when you upgrade them. And there you go. And then the only thing that will continue to stay active, the whole system is going to be the jiggle bin action here. Could you get away with using a different type of bin? No, because this is going to be set. This will be set in the back room, background somewhere. You don't have to touch any of this stuff. And you want to have this continue to be cooked. And because this is... Um, a starter you're only going to be needing it in the beginning part of the game once once you get past the starter section you could then uh, this will basically be won't be running at all now could you incorporate this with toast you could but we're not doing toast so it doesn't really matter but anyway you have to do this this way and you may say well how are you how is this combiner working with this why is this not pulling it because safety hops just like mixers will will only pull the grabbers will only pull from something once the action before is completed. And since moving this onto here is not an action, moving this to here is an action, but also the cooking is an action. So that's how when you use regular grabbers to get pie crust, it'll do the full mix before it turns into a pie crust instead of just taking the dough bowl. Uh, this is similar how it works because grabbers will only pull something from when something is completely finished, unless it's a small grabber, which you don't need for this system here. So. This is a short, it's a pretty clunky design. If you don't want to have auto boards being done, this whole section here could be omitted. This would just sit here and you just manually put the board on here whenever you need one. But then again, if you need two, three, four of them, uh, you're going to have, you're going to be waiting for this to cycle through and do it. So to me, this is the easiest thing to do. Um, the only other thing you could do is you could, after this, you could add a frozen prep station. And then from there, you could have a grabber going to the combiner and having this be put up here. It wouldn't really add too much as far as the overall footprint. That way you could have a couple of these frozen prepped ready to go. Because if you remember, 
making your dough ball, making your loaf of bread on a safety hob in the beginning of the day does take a bit of time. Uh, so you could come back here and put in a frozen prep station, which would also work. Basically, you'd put it here, and then you'd have a conveyor here, and then you'd have your your uh, combiner here. So I don't need to show you guys that. You you can uh, do that as you as you want, as far as if you want to add a frozen prep. I highly recommend it, but not necessary, of course. But it would definitely save you early on in the day, depending on how many customers you have, of course. Or what you could also do is in this system here, you could put in, you could reconfigure this a little bit to have room for a freezer, and you could portion right out of a freezer would be here. This would be back, all these would be backed up one space. You'd have a freezer sitting right here, basically. And, or even, well, here you'd want it, or even here, doesn't matter where. And then at the beginning of the day, you'll have a fresh loaf ready to go, and then you can continue on through the system. So that is bruschetta. I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. Do you like bruschetta in real life? I do to a point. I'm not a big like chopped tomato fan. If they're really, really like diced small tomatoes, then I'll eat it. But I, I like tomatoes cooked more so than I don't eat them raw like at all unless they're like on a bruschetta or something like that. <laughs> or in that pico de gallo stuff that you get with like uh, Mexican chips. Anyway, guys. If you enjoyed the, this video as well as my automation videos or any other video on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. It would really help me out to reach my next goal. And I'll catch you guys in the next modded or unmodded automation tutorial. Take care now.